Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at ratios. We're going to answer the question, what is a ratio and how do you write and simplify ratios? So here are a few examples of how ratios can be written. It is a comparison of two numbers. There's three different ways to write the ratios. You can do this, that colon will read as two, such as three to four, and you can also write it as a fraction and the order that you write the ratio matters. So the numerator would be in the fraction form would be the same number as the first number if you write it out horizontally. And then just like with a fraction, ratios need to be simplified. So let's go ahead and look at this example and we're gonna write it out the three different ways. So it says the number of dogs to cats at a pet hotel is two to one. So we want to write a ratio that shows dogs to cats. So we are going to make sure that dogs comes first, which would be two to the cats, which is one. So there's the first way you can write it. You can write it out with words, two to one or two over one would be how you could write it in fraction form. So we're going to practice writing it and simplifying ratios. I am mostly going to write my answers like this because that is a very common way that you will see ratios. So let's look at number one. It says there are eight boys to every six girls in band. What is the ratio of boys to girls in band? So we need to write a ratio of boys to girls. And they told us there are eight boys. So it'll be eight to six girls. And if you notice, both of these numbers are even. So I can divide everything by two and simplify that ratio to be four to three. So the ratio of boys to girls in band would be four to three. All right, let's look at number two. It says there are 24 Frappuccino orders for every 36 latte orders. What is the ratio of Frappuccinos to lattes? So I need Frappuccinos to come first, which would be 24. So 24 Frappuccinos to, I need lattes to come next, 36 lattes. And both of these numbers are divisible by 12. So to simplify it, I'm going to divide both the numbers by 12. 24 divided by 12 would be 2 and 36 divided by 12 would be 3. So that means that there are three sorry, two Frappuccino orders to every three latte orders. Okay, let's look at number three. At an ice cream shop, there are 21 ice cream cones sold for every seven ice cream cups. What is the ratio of cones to cups? So cones would be 21 ice cream cones, so it'll be 21 to seven ice cream cups. And both of these numbers are divisible by seven. So I'm gonna divide each by seven. 21 divided by seven is three and seven divided by seven is one. So the ratio of cones to cups would be three to one. Okay, let's look at number four. If there are 10 cats and 14 dogs, write the ratio of dogs to cats. So we need to be very careful about how we write this order because when they tell us the information, they tell us cats first, but in the ratio, they want dogs first. So let's make sure we put that information first. So that would be 14 dogs to 10 cats. 14 and 10 are both even numbers, so they're divisible by two. So I'm gonna divide both of them by two. 14 divided by two is seven. 10 divided by two is five. So that means that there are seven dogs to five cats. Okay, number five, eight out of 12 teenagers prefer iPhones. What is the ratio of teenagers who do not prefer iPhones to those who do? So they did not tell us the number of teenagers who do not prefer iPhones, but we can figure it out because it says eight out of 12 teenagers do prefer iPhones. So that means the difference between those two numbers are the ones who do not prefer iPhones. So I would take the total that they sampled, which is 12, and subtract the ones that do prefer iPhones to it, and it would be four. So that means that it is four that do not prefer iPhones. And now we can write our ratio for this. It says, what are the ratio of teenagers who do not prefer iPhones, which would be four, 
to the teenagers that do prefer iPhones, which would be eight. So four to eight is our ratio. And the last thing I'm gonna do is simplify by dividing both of these numbers by two. So four divided by two is two. Oops, sorry, I can divide by a bigger number than that. They're both divisible by four. Let's try that one. So four divided by four is one, and then eight divided by four is two. So that means there's one to two teenagers who do not prefer iPhones to those who do. Okay, let's look at number six. Riley's jewelry store receives a shipment of 50 jewelry pieces, but five pieces are damaged. What is the ratio of damaged jewelry pieces to non-damaged jewelry pieces? So again, they didn't give us this piece of information about non-damaged jewelry pieces, but we can figure it out. So the non-damaged would be the total, which is 50, minus the ones that were damaged, which was five. So the non-damaged pieces of jewelry are 45. And now that we have that number, we can write our ratio of damaged jewelry, which was five, to non-damaged, which was 45. And then both of these numbers are divisible by five. So I'm gonna divide by a five and I get one, two, nine. So that means there is one damaged piece of jewelry to every nine pieces of non-damaged jewelry. Okay, let's look at number seven. It says, which ratio is equivalent to nine purple and five pink? So let's write that out. I'm looking for a ratio that is equivalent nine purple to five pink. So let's check this one right here. I can't think of a number that I can multiply nine by to get 10 and then could also multiply five by to get 18. So that is not gonna work. If I simplified 10 to 18 down, it would be, if I divided both of those by two, it would be five to nine, which does not match our ratio of nine to five. So it's not gonna be A. Let's look at B. If I divided both of these numbers by two, let's see if it would match the nine purple to the five pink. So 18 and 10 are both divisible by two. So if I divide by two, then it would be nine purple to five pink, which I believe does match my ratio. So it's probably this one. I'm just gonna verify that C and D are not it. C says 14 purple to 10 pink. Those are both divisible by two. If I divide by two, I get seven to five, which does not match my ratio. And then the last one, 10 purple to 14 pink, that would be five to seven. If I divided both of those by two, which does not match my ratio. So I just confirmed that B is the equivalent ratio. 18 purple to 10 pink matches nine purple to five pink. Okay, let's look at number eight. It says, at a movie theater, there are 12 bags of popcorn sold for every six drinks. What is the ratio of popcorn to drinks? So let's go figure out the number of popcorn they told us. They said 12 bags of popcorn for every six drinks. So that ratio would be 12 to six, and both of these numbers are divisible by six. So I'm going to divide by six to simplify this ratio, and I get two to one. So the ratio of popcorn to drinks is two to one. And then B says, what is the ratio of drinks to total items sold? So they did not tell us a number for total items sold, but we can figure it out. There were 12 bags of popcorn sold plus six drinks. So the total would be 18. And now that I have the total, I can write my ratio. Drinks was six. So it'll be six to the total items was 18. And now I just need to simplify this. Both of these numbers are divisible by six. So six divided by six is one, 18 divided by six is three. The ratio of drinks to total items sold would be one to three. 
And number nine says at a food truck, there are 22 taco plates sold for every 10 nacho plates. What is the ratio of taco plates to nacho plates? So tacos, there was 22 of them sold. Nachos, there was 10 of them sold. So the ratio would be 22 to 10. And both of these numbers are divisible by two. So the ratio simplified, 22 divided by two is 11, 10 divided by two is five. So that would be 11 taco plates to every five nacho plates. Then it says, what is the ratio of taco plates to total? They did not tell us the total, but we can figure it out. There were 22 taco plates and 10 nacho plates. So the total would be 22 plus 10, which is 32. And the taco plates was 22, so the ratio would be 22 to 32. And both of these numbers are divisible by two. So I'm gonna simplify the ratio by dividing by two, and 22 divided by two is 11, and 32 divided by two is 16. So I get 11 to 16. 